All right, folks, but you guys, idiot, we are back playing Concrete Jungle. It, it, this is a brand new game by Cole Palmer, who actually did a Kickstarter about this game. It is a cross between, like, Tetris and a card game. It's fantastic. It's got a lot of strategy, a lot of fun, uh, the ability for you to actually play a little bit farther and then gain more stars by going back and playing it. Uh, this is a game that I am super excited to bring to you guys so that you guys can play it um, and enjoy it as much as I have. So a couple things, right now uh, I have been able to kind of play this a little bit. I'm going to be starting from the beginning with the tutorial. Um, there's a really cool things that you can do with this for options. Um, for the graphics, uh, this is basically what I have for now just to get make sure that it's crisp and clear. Uh, it doesn't actually go up to night to 1080p, so it's the only downside. But look, it's stream safe music, so basically I can play this game and record it without actually having copyright infringement on any of my videos. So that's cool. Um, so I had did this for the controls. Don't really need too many, too much aside from the mouse. Um, but what we can do is with the game is we're gonna reset our progress. Boom, brand new start from the beginning. So we're going to do this, I'm going to take you through all this, we're going to get three stars and all of this, I'll show you guys the pro process on how to do that. Hollyville. There's a great tutorial, they got great voice work to kind of get move us through this. This is zoomed in, I'll zoom out a little bit. Welcome to the small town of Hollyville. My name is Lainey and I'm here to show you the ropes. Looking around is pretty easy. You can use the right mouse or the keyboard's cursor or W, A, S, and D keys. Okay. You can also zoom in and out using the mouse wheel or the R and F keys. In front of you, there is a small grid upon which you can place buildings. Those buildings are determined by a series of cards. Let's draw some now and get started. That will do nicely. At the top here is the next card in your build list. It's a school, pretty useful. I agree. On the card is a small three by three grid with a building icon in the middle. This displays the building's effect on its adjacent tiles. Blue squares represent plus one point. So the school will give plus one points to the tiles immediately adjacent to it. This is true. Okay, so they're going to be going through this tutorial. There may be some strategies that I'm using that uh, they don't exactly teach you yet. So, um... With a card selected, you can now place it. Notice how the blue highlights represent the area effect as displayed on the card. Let's put the school here. Okay, so this one they're going to force you. It's actually a good thing. The more that you can get the blue around and not, like, off is basically what you want to go for as a general rule. You'll notice there are now some plus score markers on the empty tiles that were affected by the school. If we place point collecting buildings on those positive scoring tiles, we'll get points. It just so happens the next card in your build list is a houses card. By far the most common point collecting building. That is true. Now they're going to have different ones like a duplex, and there's a farmhouse. There's definitely more things that you can do. House is going to be one of the most commons, especially in the beginning of the game. Notice how it tells you on the card if the building collects points or not. So let's get some points. It says it right there. So these things are all going to be kind of cool. This is basically to get new cards. Um, she'll explain that a little bit. This is basically if you get, you know, this one right here and it gets up to 60, instead of needing two points to create, clear a uh, row um, it'll jump up to three so let's put the house where she wants us to Great. we now have one point due to the combination of the school's area effect and the house we have a target to reach for each column currently that target is two you can see your current target right here in the top right Yep. in order to fulfill that target for each column we need to use a combination of buildings that affect their surroundings and point collecting buildings. Next up we have a car wash. This card also has some red squares, which means it will have a negative effect on those tiles. But crucially, it has positive effects in the places we need right now to bring our house up to two. 
Select and place the car wash so that our house is given another point. Okay, so we are going to definitely do it that way. Um, there's a couple other things. You, it only allows you this this white border is actually the amount of cards you can choose from. Right now it's only one because we're at the very beginning. As you level up and you progress in the game, you're actually going to get more options to choose from. There's going to be cards that will discard, cards that are all negative, but they have the yellow, which again, you'll learn a little bit more about as she tells you. Uh, what we're going to do is, it really doesn't matter where we put it on one side or the other, but I do, because this row is basically going to go have away. Two points in the first column thanks to our house, school, and car wash. Mm -hmm. Also notice how the red negative area effect from the car wash canceled out one of the points from the school. Yep. Now the first column is complete. Look what happens. So plus four right here. See that? The column has been cleared. That means you bank the points from that column, which are then multiplied and added to your total score. It also means you get a new empty column to build in here on the right. The immediate aim of the game is always to clear the first column, but you'll have to plan ahead with your building placements in order to do that for future columns. Those are the basics. But let me show you what happens if you forget to place a point-collecting building in a column. Fill this column with the following non-point-collecting buildings. If any building area effects spill off the side of the grid, they will have no effect. You can use this to your advantage sometimes. That's definitely true. So right here they're going to give you stuff, um, and unfortunately, none of these are point-collecting. Now we have no point-collecting buildings in this column. This will likely happen to you sometimes, but just to be clear, it's something you want to try and avoid. And not just because we have a brewery and factory next to a school. <laughs> With no means of collecting points, this column cannot reach its target. Therefore, it's just going to sit there while we fill up the rest of the empty land. We need to force clear it. Once the first column is filled, you'll notice this little button flashing at you. All we have to do is click it to force clear. Yep. Great. However, force clearing isn't free. It costs you one life. You can see how many lives you have left here. Make sure you use your lives sparingly. Once you run out, you'll fail the level. Now see if you can complete past this column here using the next batch of buildings. Yep. So now we're going to try and get to here. Now this is the this is the end goal. So what we can do actually is we can basically clear this like these rows and then set this up and then clear even more rows behind it. There's there's different things that you can definitely do for this. Um, right now, again, we have to put a house. We can put a house there. I'm going to put a house here just because I'm going to be putting a school here. Um, the supermarket is really really good. And that's because we can we can try and figure out where to put it. Um, you can actually do something like this, which is very good. Um, and basically, the red back here, I don't believe it transfers over. I haven't done something too crazy like that. Anyways, so we have to put this house down. But really, again, we're not going to be focusing on doing that just yet. We're going to be working on putting like this shop here. Um, we're going to end up putting this house here. Car wash is going to go here. It doesn't matter right here how many you do, as long as you fill those all up. Um, it's going to make sure that you do something. We're going to put a brewery here. We'll put a house here. A brewery here. A factory way away from everyone. We're going to put a school here. And then we can put here. Got to put a house here. Got to put that there. Boom. Ding. So you get even more points basically for that row. And you kind of, again, like ready for the next change challenge. all your stuff. The area's been completed. That is your tutorial. How awesome is that, guys? 
So we got two remaining lives. You also add that to your final score. Um, and then this is again to where you can increase. So the next one's actually gonna be Luther Fields and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and comment this video down below. Uh, I am so excited to play this game. It is so much fun. Pick it up if you guys don't have a chance. It's usually about $15 or a little bit less on Steam. See you guys later from Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.